Well, howdy there, Internet students. Mr. Hermanson again. Um, you saw a little video and showed you one way of dealing with negative variables, um, and uh, we're going to do another way here. Um, remember that if you have uh, a positive and negative exactly the same, like negative 3 plus 3, that's going to equal 0. Or likewise, negative x plus x equals 0, or negative 2x plus 2x. These all um, end up equaling 0 when you add them together. So we're going to use that idea and the balance beam to help deal with negative um, coefficients. So, uh, so what we could do here is I can use, let's use a black x for positive and a red x for negative. So we can choose whatever color you want there. But So on one side, I'm going to have four x's and then six extra ones. You can write those as ones if you want or six if you want, but I'll just use tally marks. Then on this side, I'm going to have a negative 2x, so I'm going to show that as a uh, red x. And then we have 12 ones there, which are positive ones. Like that. Okay. Now, if I want to get the x's eliminated from one side, the way I'm going to do that is by putting two black x's with these two red x's. Now, this cancels this out. I'll use a blue line to show that. But remember, whatever you do to one side, because it's a balance, you have to do that to the other. So I would have to put two black x's over here also. All right. Now, the next thing I think I'm going to do is eliminate these six, take away six from both sides. So erase those. Actually, I could just erase them, right? So there's five gone. Five gone there. One more. One more there. All right, now I have six X's on the one side. And remember, these are all zero, so I can really erase those now. So I have 6x equals 6, which means each x is equal to 1. All right? Um, and if you want, when you get it down to this, you can just look at the equation and go, oh, 6 times 1 is 6, whatever, or do 6 divided by 6. All right. I'll do one more with you, and then I'll let you try a couple. But so on the left side, I'm going to put 4 of these. So those are, that's positive 4. And on the <clears throat> left side, I'm going to put 8 of these that are, now rem remember red represents negative. Okay. And then we have 18 other ones. So I'm going to, that's a positive 18. 5, 10, 15, 18. The other side, I have a negative 22, so I'm going to use red for those. There's 22. Okay. Now I'm going to start by eliminating all these red X's over here, and the way I'm going to do that is by every for every red X, I want a black X. So I need eight of those. And then remember to keep it balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So I'm going to have to put eight of them over here also. Now I'm going to just erase because these are all zero. And I zeroed them out by adding those positive x's to those negative x's. All right. And now I'm going to... I think uh, since I have all my x's on the left side, I'm going to get my whole, my uh, constants on the right side. So what I'm going to do to eliminate all these on this side is add an equal number of reds to those. And so I'm going to have to do the same thing over here. So 
So now I can erase these because I put a positive one with every negative one. And at this point, um, I'm going to look at my equation. I have uh, 12x on the left side, and that's going to equal uh, 35. Is that right? 40, I believe, if I added those right. And so I end up with, and remember that's a negative because they're red, and then I'm just going to divide those negative 40 by 12, and that gives me 3 and 4, negative 3 and 4 twelfths, I believe, or negative 3 and 1 third. All right. So I'm going to let you try a couple, see if you can do that. Mess around with the black and the red or the yellow and the white, however you want to do that, um, to make the equations. All right? So if you did that right, you got 3 for number 3 and negative 4 for number 4. All right? I'm just going to quickly show you... Uh, and you can do it this way if you want, instead of using the scale and drawing all those little X's. Uh, you may find this easier. So remember, on this one, you tried to get rid of this negative 3X here. And you did it by adding three black X's to that side. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Let me do this in black and red so it's exactly the same. All right, so you had positive 5x on the left and then a minus 4. Okay, so then I added 3x to both sides, and that gives me uh, positive 8x. On the left side, and then a minus 4 equals this. This part is zeroed out here, and so I have just plus 20 on this side. All right, now to get rid of this negative 4 on the right side, I'm going to add a positive 4 to that. Negative 4 and plus 4 is 0, so I end up with 8x equals 24. And at this point, I can see x must equal 3 because 8 times 3 is 24, right? So that's how to show this algebraically. Um, we'll do this second one here. I'll show you one more time algebraically. So these are all positives on the left here, on the, left here the 2x plus 15. And on the right, you have positive 3, but then you have negative 1x. So I'll just put a minus x there. Now, to get rid of that minus x, I might just add 1x to that. Like that. And that gives me 3x plus 15 equals 3. At this point, you can backtrack if you want. You could do 3 minus 15, which is negative 12, divided by 3 is negative 4. All right. Uh, well, that's all I got for you today. Um, basically, it was getting rid of negatives um, by adding the opposite to those, adding a positive. All right, so um, summarize your lesson and try some of those homework problems and message me if you have any concerns. We'll talk to you.